Hello, in this video we're going to take a quick look at how to perhaps use a mask, a black and white texture that is, um, as a stencil to control where you can paint on an object. So we're going to be actually generating a stencil mask, um, a sort of cavity map if you will, by uh, baking an image and adjusting it a little bit in GIMP um, and then using that on a a simple model uh, to 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 use as a stencil so let's get started the first little job that we've got here is to uh, let's before we talk about the actual uh, mask settings we're going to talk about how to bake a, uh, a, a sort of texture that we can use as a mask that's been generated automatically well we can paint our own but let's just have a go at this so uh, let's X and delete the default cube I'm just gonna go shift C and recenter my cursor Shift A, add in a monkey, with Suzanne, and I'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier by going to the modifier buttons on the right hand side, clicking subdivision surface, and I'm going to change the levels up to 2, and then choose the smooth shading option. It's, it's, it's only a cosmetic effect, but it's, uh, it makes it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to have to unwrap this now, and so I'm going to split the window across, change it into the UV image editor and then I'll tab into edit mode in the 3d view and because I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about unwrapping I'm going to press U and just choose a smart UV project uh, something like that and all right it's a, it's not a very nice unwrap but it will do for our purposes um, just now I need to add an image to the UVs to bake to so we go new um, and we're going to just call this um, I don't know bake um, and we're going to leave all the defaults the same so it's black and what you see now is if we tab into object mode and go alt Z into uh, textured mode that's the viewport shading mode textured down there you see that it shows black and that's because the image is assigned to the UVs and that's what we're seeing in the 3D view so there are a couple of ways that we could generate a sort of what you might call a cavity map I suppose uh, let's try first of all we'll go into vertex paint mode and this has an option in the paint menu here dirty vertex colors so let's press that and see what we get now this might not be a bad um, start for us now we can change our um, uh, there's some of the options here to see whether this gives us uh, more or less a different a, a result that we can perhaps work with um, I think this is actually pretty pretty good um, so if we wanted to then use this as an image we can go to the render button and down at the bottom we find the bake panel and we can change the bake mode to vertex colors and we can choose bake and then that will bake the image uh, the, the vertex colors to the image that we assign to the UVs. Now there would be another way to perhaps do it. We could do an ambient occlusion bake or choose normalized and bake that. It'll take a little bit more time um, and we've got a little bit less control. You can see how it's a little bit grainy. We can change that in the world, uh, sorry, in the scene buttons. No, oh, I was right the first time. In the world buttons we got the um, the gather panel here. Um, and you can change the samples up uh, if you want to get uh, get rid of this sort of grain. Uh, but you know what? I think we're going to stick with the uh, with the vertex colors. So let's use that, and we'll just bake that out again. And what we need to do is save this image. So I go image, save a copy, and I'll save it on my desktop. I'm just going to call it um, bake.png. Save as image. And then we're ready to maybe go over and uh, just adjust the levels a little bit of this in uh, GIMP. So here's GIMP and I'm just, just going to drag our bake image in here. And what I want to do is just play with the levels a little bit to see if we can get um, a bit of a nicer result. So I'll go colors and choose levels. Now I'm no expert with GIMP so this is a little bit of uh, sort of trial and error for me. What I want to do is kind of get um, is, is kind of get it mostly mostly sort of white um, not these output levels that's the wrong one um, with 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 the darker areas uh, in the in the cavities being um, sort of quite more prominent so we're just going to bring these in a um, little way we'll bring in the darks and then maybe we'll um, adjust the lights in a little bit 
so that we can get something let's go with something like that so go OK go file and export now, if you're a bit more of an expert um, in GIMP then obviously you can, um, you can make a bit more of an effort I'm just going to call that mask and uh, export that to my desktop and then we can shoot back over to uh, to Blender. In Blender then I want to apply the image that we just baked to our UVs. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to make sure that we've in our uh, object data button here I can just scroll down the UV maps and I'm going to rename this as mask because this is going to be now our mask layer for painting. I'm going to go image and open image and on the desktop we saved it as mask.png so we'll open that and what you'll see is that in fact what we're seeing now is still the result of our vertex colors uh, bait because it's overriding what we're seeing in the viewport so we can just uh, in the again in the object data button uh, just delete the vertex uh, colors layer and I want to ensure now that we when we're in edit mode with everything selected we select our mask PNG and then if I alt Z into textured mode we should be able to see it so we, now we want to add um, an image to paint to so I'm going to go back to edit mode I'm going to add a new UV map here and we just call it paint and we're going to add an image now to this UV map in order to paint to. So we'll go image, new image, and I'm just going to try a sort of medium grey because otherwise in the viewport it kind of it just looks, it's all flat, it's too saturated. So we'll, um, and we'll choose and we'll call this paint. Click OK. And what you'll see now is in texture, in um, if we switch to texture paint mode, that when we choose our different UV maps on the right hand side they show up in the viewport so we want to be painting on this UV map with on this image assigned to this UV map and in the options what we can find is this stencil option so I'm going to click that and in fact what it's done is it gives us a choice of our UV maps to paint to use as a stencil and I'm going to choose our mask UV map here and this little button will allow us to invert the, 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 the stencil layer so the blacks become white but we'll just leave that for now so that's set up go to our tools and what we'll find is now if we paint something with a full strength I'm going to turn off the pressure sensitivity I'm not using my tablet right now that when we paint using this as a stencil the uh, well let's see what happens we'll paint across and you'll see that the black areas are affected uh, whereas the white areas uh, stay um, stay unaffected by this color so you can see that sort of working especially on the eyes and stuff like that so conversely if we were to invert our stencil layer, actually if we just control Z out of that, yep, we'll invert our stencil layer, we'll find now that the white areas are fully affected by the paint, whereas you can see in the in the, the, the black of the ear and stuff like that is, is remaining unaffected. So with that, what we know is that when we've got our mask UV map selected, we can paint directly onto this in fact so we can create say um, our own mask here um, let's press F to make that a little bit smaller and writing with the mouse which is always fun we can see now that if we go back to our paint layer and we'll choose some color how that's working so we can paint directly uh, on to the mask we can generate a mask by way of the ambient occlusion or the vertex colors bake uh, we can adjust it quite easily just by selecting it and painting on and so long as we've got the, um, the, the, the correct layer chosen as a stencil um, it'll work hopefully uh, as we expect so that was it I hope you found that interesting uh, happy blending I'll see you again next time